He did not show my children mercy by any means. But my kids loved him. And if I'm speaking on behalf of my kids and not myself, that's what I would have to say. I'm not here for me. The mom in me just wants him to feel it. Everything that I feel that my kids felt. Nothing justifies, nothing justifies what you've done. You know, I've been doing this longer than anybody. And um, I know when I see uh, uh, people that are in, in uh, they're just not sincere. And I didn't, I didn't sense that yesterday. And uh, I think by that time, uh, John Stewart had enough. And uh, John Stewart did what he did best. John Stewart articulated our pain and suffering and our agony over the last 18 years. And John uh, painted a picture for America to see. He painted a landscape to let America know that over 95,000 people on the World Trade Center Health Program that are being treated across our great nation are being forgotten by our federal government, by Congress, a dysfunctional body of work who continues to fail us. You know, we have battled these people now for over 15 years. These are the same people that promised to fix yesterday's problems today, maybe tomorrow. And we're tired of it. We don't got to put up with it anymore. They're Congress. They work for us. Anybody who has an issue in America should go to the House that we own, whether it's the Senate or the Congress, and demand that these members work for you. We voted them in. Our taxpayers, uh, we pay their salaries. They work for us. That's my approach. And that's why after 278 trips to D.C., I have zero tolerance for any member of Congress or the Senate. And I hope they don't like me. I don't want them to like me. How is it that two Ironman athletes died in the same portion of the triathlon in Wisconsin? 38-year-old firefighter Todd Mahoney was pulled from the lake uh, on Sunday and later died at the hospital. Another man, 61-year-old Michael McCullough, died in that part of the triathlon, too. One other competitor said the water was a lot colder this year than in years past, but no cause of death for either man has yet to be released.